Thanks, Rafe. There's Scott Pollard. He would play despite a bothersome ankle, as would Cyclone star Dedrick Willoughby. Early first, KU turns it over. Paul Pierce, the cool side of the pillow. A shorty from Chicago wanted me to say that. Pierce takes advantage of one of 15 Cyclone turnovers. Then Willoughby in pain, so what? He was butter. He'd had nine points, KU by 10 at the break. Second half, Cyclone's in trouble. Willoughby's ankle put him on the bench. Cato in foul trouble. Billy Thomas, yep, yep, on the three. He had 12 points. Jarrett Hask, tough leaner. Tough two, tough macho man, he had 11. Great for friends, parents say, where's our boy? That's not their boy, that's TJP with the sweet spin. Here's their boy, bringing in the noise, bringing in the funk, or the noise, the funk for Broadway connoisseurs. LaFrenz had 16, Lester Earl, future Jayhawk 11 at KU. Billy Lee says, Coach K, how about some mercy? <laughs> no. Duke freshman Chris Carrowell, two of his five points. Duke jumped out to a 16 to two lead. Wojciechowski, three point, it was all good. He had eight points, two of four from three land. Easy night for the Dukies. Jeff Capel, one of six assists. Nate James. Ripping stuff up. 11 Duke players scored. They won at 84 59. Camel coach Billy Lee. Kentucky turning up the pressure right off the get go. Derek Anderson, Ron Mercer pressure Gigi Smith into traveling, and then they collapse on Derek Dukes. Dukes is called for the offensive foul. The Cats scored 21 points off of Georgia turnovers. More Bulldog turnovers. Eric DeYoung turns it over. Wayne Turner with the steal, and he will go all the way for the land. Wildcats up by 11. More defense. Gigi Smith feels the pressure. This is how things work for Kentucky, even when they should have been called for a turnover. Three steps. They don't get called for the turnover. Turner, who practically turned it over, scored on that one. Wildcats win eight first quarter. Still down, still in the first half. T Wolves down one. Kevin Garnett to Chris Carr. T Wolves down by two at the half. Less than looking for freshman guard Russ Archambault to blow up. Minnesota by four. Archambault the three. Uh, can I grab a witness from the congregation, Rich? Yes. Wow. Rush two of three from three lane. Next goal for possession. Archibald misses. John Thomas ganked by Gandy. Gandy had three rejects, knocking two men down. Illinois snaps a 10-game Minnesota win streak with a 96-90 upset. We know one thing. A one-for-nine shooting performance against Penn State last week. Only Thomas embarrassed after a loss to Miami. Remember that one? Game tied at 59. Thomas calls a timeout when Nova didn't have any. Shades of Chris Weber in the 93 title game. That was a technical foul. It cost Nova the game. On this night in South Bend, Thomas getting... Whew, Thomas with the elbow to Atmore White. He got a tee. His coach, Steve Lapis, got a tee for arguing the call. Notre Dame made all four free throws, started an 11-2 run, bringing the Irish close. But Nova finally gets it going. Tim Thomas makes up for his technical foul, his gaffe with a steal. Thomas says, Irish, I ain't mad at you. Nothing but love, baby, nothing but love. He had 18 points. Nova wins at 68-57. And this one was flying in the air on this night. In the first half, alley-oop to Juan Wheat to Nate Johnson. Louisville shot 62% from the field in the first half. More high percentage shots. Another backdoor alley-oop. Damian Dantzler to Alvin Sims, and now the alley-oop in transition. Dantzler to Alex Sanders. Houston coach Alvin Brooks has a headache this big and has got alley-oop written all over it. Louisville wins 92 to 78. Freshman Nate Johnson, 11 of third. Carter tries to take it inside. Tyra Washington says no. Nah. Then he tells John Cantrell, no. Nah. Rob Evans finds top 25 life a little rough. Ole Miss trailed by 12 at the half, but second half, Jason Smith with the steal. Ole Miss makes a run, pulls within two, but that'll be as close as Ole Miss would get. Trey Moore, Trey with the deuce. Mississippi State wins 75 to 64. So Ole Miss, ranked for the first time ever, loses in its... Ten seconds left, Abdu Silla. Offensive rebound, one of five. We're even at 49, 6.2 seconds left. Inbounds pass. Chris Gardner takes it up the court. Gardner takes it to the... His elves! One of 17 Memphis buckets, though. That's all. Still, DePaul, one last chance. The baseball inbounds pass. Silla makes the grab. Silla gets the shot off, but it does not go. Memphis State wins it 51-49. to West Virginia hosting Rutgers. Mountaineers up 56-55. Mountaineers inbounds pass stolen by Eric Clark. They get it to Earl Johnson. Earl, three. Oh, sicky sucky now. He was two of six from downtown. Rutgers up two. Last chance for West Virginia. Jared West throws up the runner. It does not go. Scarlet Knights win it 58-56. Their first road win of the season. Providence at Miami. Canes up four. God, damn God, all the way. He had 11. Friars within two. Last chance for Providence. Jason Murdoch got a good look. A bad shot. Miami wins it. 70. It's just is a mouthful. Clemson says, I got you. Yes, you is right here. 
That was Greg Buckner for the hoop. Clemson made eight of their first 12 shots, but then turned it over. Matt Kavorak, great defense on Merle Code, turns it over. Then Yesikevichis with the lay-in. Rick Barnes says, stop saying Yesikevichis. Seconds left in the half. Leron Profit with the steal to Terrell Stokes. Back to Profit for the jam. The first highlight in which I do not say the word Yesikevichis, but then I guess I just said it. Clemson by one at the half, though, despite 15 turnovers in the second half. Takes much better care of the basketball. Tom Weidman puts Clemson up four, but there's Yesikevichis behind the back. And the lay-in turps down two, but Clemson would prevail. Ekir Arturbe. My goodness, I am earning my money tonight. How many consonants in there? <laughs> Lots. Greg Buckner led the Tigers with 16. First half, Tim Duncan hits the three. But Virginia played him close. Harold Dean with the spin move on Jerry Braswell. Cavaliers by one at the half. But a buck 12 to go in the game. Tied at 54, Tim Duncan takes over. Tim hits the bank shot. He hit another shot. And that's the difference. Wake Forest wins a squeaker by the final of 58-54. Virginia converged on Duncan every time he touched the ball, and Tim still scored a season. NC, less than two minutes in the game. NC stayed up by seven, but Jermon Williams brings Carolina within four. Less than a minute to go, Antoine Jamison in the lane. Turnaround jumper. Tar Heels down two. After Williams' free throw brings the heels within one, Jamison with a bucket down low. Puts UNC up one. The comeback complete. The Wolf Pack turn it over. Vince Carter with the steal. He's fouled. Carter would make both free throws. UNC hopping. NC State not. But they would have one last chance with the Wolf Pack. Down three. Issue of Benjamin's three away short. Carolina scores 12 straight in the final two minutes for the comeback victory. 59-56. Indiana at Northwestern. Bobby Knight benched Neil Reed in the first half, but late second, Reed blew up. Three, Hoopa. Reed, three of four from deep. Hoosiers down four. Then he tells Javon Johnson, peace, I'm out. Neil, five of seven shooting overall. Hoosiers down two. More Reed gets the Johnson in the air, shoots, scores. He's fouled. Neil also five of seven from the free throw line. Game tied at 58. Neil Reed, another trade. He had no time for any assist. Hoosiers up three. Game tied at 61. Reed again. Rich, you know he was butter because he was on a roll. 15 points in a row for Indiana. Hoosiers up three. After Reed made his first free throw, misses the second. Nate Palmday gets the board, a chance to tie. Nate, no. Neil Reed, 18 points, 16 in the final five minutes, 23 seconds. Hoosiers win 66-63. So why didn't Reed? Overtime tied at 79. Scooney Penn spots Antonio Granger. Ready or not, refugees take it over. Game winner. Antonio, 10 points. Scooney had 13. BC survives a scare from Fairfield, winning at 81-79. Nice way for BC to reward Coach Love win of the season. Watch Reggie Freeman. Reggie, Freeman. let me clear my Jones throat. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> Oh, that is sick. Got to check it out again. Freeman spins in the, in the air over his shoulder. Kid at 30 points. You won't see two prettier than that. Aggies come back. Shawnee Jones misses, but Calvin Davis tapped it in. 14 for Calvin, but all Longhorns in overtime. Al Coleman, Trey, Shava. 11 points for Al. Barone's Aggies lose it. 86-76. Half of Reggie Freeman's 30 points. Oklahoma, Texas Tech. First half, Corey Carr misses the layup. And... See, that's not really what I meant when I say break them off something, something. Tony Batito broke off something huge. Big dunk. Batito, 16 points. The outside is open, but Damon Flint can't stick it. Falls off. Then the Bearcats trying to attack. Damon Flint runs into tall people. Cincinnati couldn't get a hoop early. Flint, though, would finally get something going. Five straight threes. Cincinnati down one at the half. For Temple, the offense was this guy, Rashid Brokenborough, the sophomore. Hitting the three, and he'd been in a huge slump. Broken Burrow, he wants more. They kick it out. He's spotted. He's three in again and again. Broken Burrow looking for another eight threes on the night. A career high 31, and Temple takes down the Bearcats in a big upset. The number four team goes down. And Henry's son, Mike Bibby, freshman, got it done early. Donnell Harris, it's a dunk. Arizona up by eight. But Bibby didn't do much from outside. Misses once, misses twice. Bibby again wants a three, doesn't get it. Bibby a fourth time for a three, doesn't get it. 0 for 5 from that area, only four points against his father. SC was going deep, though. Stais Bozeman for three. Stais Bozeman for another. Stais Bozeman for another. And now on to another. Elias Ayuso, a three. 
and a three. We got a theme. We got another three. We got a win. 17 points for him. Southern Cal moves to eight and five, beating Arizona for the first time since 1992. Bozeman had 21 all together. Two this year, seven to go in, in the regulation. Wilkins a chance to win it, but they head to OT. The shot blocked by Chris Weems. Tied at 61, they move along. The overtime now, Breva Knight, only eight points in regulation, takes things over. The drive, the lay-in, it's good. And Stanford up one. Stanford down one now. Knight again with the three. And Stanford up 68-66. Ten seconds to go. Oregon down three. A final chance. Jamal Lawrence, not good. He had eight trays, didn't hit the ninth. Show them what they've won. Stanford, 72-69. Michigan then went inside. Robert Trailer. Look out. Baseline jam. Tra Trailer had four points in the first half, and then Maurice Taylor. Feed to Maceo Baston. Michigan up 38-33 at the half. Second half, more Michigan. Baston, they call him Hetty Flintstone. He finished with 15 points, 13 boards, and here's why. He does indeed have a large head. Then Trailer leads the break, takes it coast to coast. 300-pound man. Wolverines open second half with a 21-5 run, and they win it. Points in his last outing, but rebounded Thursday quite well. The three, part of a 21-point night. The story, however, was Gerald Honeycutt. Huge one-handed jam. He had 17 points in the first half. Two lane up five. More Honeycutt off a of Corey Charles alley-oop pass. Part of a two-lane 11-0 run. And then two lane up with seven by seven with under four minutes to play. Honeycutt. A career-high 38 points for him. Xavier, however, hung in. Down six under 30 seconds left. Lumpkin with the nifty three-point bounce. Perry Clark can't believe it. Skip Prosser. Stoic. 2.2 seconds left. Down two. Lenny Brown's last chance. Shot to tie. Way short. Honeycutt gets a big hug from Lawrence Nelson. Well-deserved. Season-high 38 for Honeycutt on Shields. Right off the opening tip. The first play. He gets it started. And then Shields... Seals tries the long range. Tulsa up 14. Adrian Crawford, the alley-oop now to Seals. Why not? Tulsa up 22. And then Shea Seals steals seashells by the seashore. That was Kenny's line when he initially thought this was supposed to be his highlight. Stole it. It's a good line, Kenny. Shea Seals outscores New Mexico alone, 21 to 20 at the half. New Mexico, yeah. Very few smiles for good reason. Rob Thompson drives the baseline, the cherry on top for the Golden Hurricane. They upset New Mexico 80 to 57. The 12th ranked Lobos lose by 23. SMU, Jay Perner for three for SMU. Yes, SMU up 14 to two over Utah. But Keith Van Horn says, hold your horses right then and there. He slips. So why not pull up for the three, Keith? Yeah. More Van Horn welcoming SMU to the whack. He takes the outlet. No defense. Van Horn, 14 at the half. We're tied at 37. SMU made it a game for just one half. Michael Doliak, the offensive rebound and the putback. He had 26. Van Horn had 23. And Utah opened the second half with it.